Well, Chris Popper here, joined by Kim Swan in a vacant lot here on Cottage Street of Bar Harbor. But this used to be right behind us. I mean, Subway, was it Nakani Thai? At one point. I mean, this was an area that, but nobody had been in here for at least three or four years. A, a long time. It used to be Popeye's, the chicken place, and the down under bar and everything when I was a kid. So, yeah, but nobody had been in the building for some time and before they were raised last summer and taken down. And so now we're kind of standing in Subway. All right. Yeah, exactly. I'll have a, a ham and cheese. So what's happening here? So there are big plans. Big, big plans. So the lot's been for sale for quite a while. And there have been somehow you're a broker. You, you somehow you might have known something about this, somehow right? Yeah. I might have had an inside track. And it, there were lots of ideas for it. I mean, it could have been a hotel. You know, do we need right. another hotel? It could have been a restaurant. It could have been a bar. Could have been a coffee shop. We don't need another <laughs> coffee shop, right? So one thing led to another, and we were. I'm on the board of the Bar Harbor Historical Society. And we had been struggling with the space because we have the second and third floor, but you can't get to them. Right. And Debbie Dyer has just done a remarkable job with that place. She's also built up a really big endowment because for since she's been involved, which is a long time, yep. she's never taken a salary. Oh, wow. So what she would have taken for a salary or other organizations have to pay for a salary has just stayed in. So we built up this huge endowment. And we got thinking about it one day and said, why are we working with this building? Maybe it's time to build a new one. And then I said, oh, I know of one. <laughs> and the conversation with the board of directors started. It happened very fast. Everybody's so excited. But we're bringing the Bar Harbor Historical Society here. Museum. So everything is stuff. coming here. Everything's coming here. So what's going to happen to the property on Ledge Lawn? We'll sell it. Okay. Um, we'll probably, we're looking at a two-year thing here. We've given ourselves, Tommy Alley, who sold this to us, he was very kind and held the first mortgage for 24 months. Wow. To give us time, you know, we'll make him monthly payments yep. instead of the bank, but that will give us time to figure out what we're going to do, if there are going to be other people involved, you know, there's some other nonprofit organizations that have said, yeah, we, we, I mean, there's a lot of space here. So much wrong. Right. So we've, we've given ourselves 24 months to figure out what the heck we do. And then we see this, I mean, the post office is probably one of the most beautiful historic buildings in yep. town. And to put that here, you know, with the new Midtown building, Cottage Street's moving this way, to make this like the cultural center, it, it, it's... It's amazing. It's a win-win for everyone. Yeah. So, uh, when do you is it two year? When do you expect construction to begin? We have said two years. We've given ourselves two years to work with architects to figure out what even what our needs are. Right. We had a director's meeting the other day, and we did the old-fashioned, you know, uh, the flip chart. The imaging flip. type. Yeah. Yeah. In your wildest dreams, <laughs> what would you like? We did that exact yeah. thing. And then you start looking at all the other um, options. I personally am going to be emphatically pushy on having an art museum. Bar Harbor doesn't have an art museum, and whether it's under the Historical Society, which is fine, right? but we need a place where people can go and see. I mean, look at the rusticators and how we started this, yep. you know, churches and everything. And so everybody has ideas. We'll flesh those out, and then um, two years is the goal. We've got a pretty good board, and I'm thinking maybe we'll get to start a little sooner. Yeah, I don't put anything past you. So in the meantime, though, you're you're busy fundraising for this because, I mean, you spent a lot of money, and you don't want to have the endowment go right, right. down to zero. Right. Uh, you, you and the other board members have come up a way to help fundraise, fundraise using this uh, area right now. Yes. So what we decided to do, we're too early to start going out because we don't know what we're doing yet. So we can't say, hey, here's our $3 million building. Give us some money, um, please. So what we decided to do, we have this space. Bar Harbor has a parking problem. And we're really concerned with the locals that have parking issues. I mean, even in our building, in the Swan building, we've got Swan Agency Sotheby's. We've got Swan Agency Insurance. We have Friends of Acadia. We have Richard Cleary Attorney. There's not enough parking. Right. For the staff at the brewery, there's not enough parking. A lot of people. So we said, what could we do that would give them parking that would still raise money? So we're going to do permit parking. Earl Brecklin developed a really cool permit that people will make a donation of $400 okay. 
to the Historical Society and they'll get one of these numbered permits. We're waiting now, the, um, uh, the parking is going to be numbered and we have a deal with somebody who will be driving through here making sure that non-permitted cars aren't here and if they are they'll go for a little ride. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> And we'll just really put, but we think we'll probably be able to fill it with permitted. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. And at four hundred dollars for the season, like $2 right? Two dollars and fifty cents a day. Yeah, yeah. Compared to, I mean, if if parking passes get sold, I mean, you know, it's it's pretty comparable. Yes. And plus, it's it's going to a great cause. That's right. I think that's the coolest thing, Chris. It's not like we're selling them, so to speak. People are making a donation to the Historical Society and to the beginning of what this is. So. Right. So, I mean, you, you have a parking space, which could be the future home of... The art museum. There you go. There could be a Frederick Church hanging right where you park. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, it, if people want permits so let's go permits they how do they get them right now um, Jennifer in the front office at my office has the forms has the permits until because we don't open the museum until June 18th and we didn't want to wait because June 1st of course is the first day right you can't park on the street so Jennifer in my office at the Swan Agency Sotheby's International Realty has them they can pop in there you know from 9 to 4 or they can just Facebook message us on the um, Historical Society and we'll make arrangements okay if people want to uh, become a member of the Bar Harbor Histor Historical Society, how do they do that? They just go on Bar Harbor, bhhistorical.org. They can join there. It's $20, so it's a bargain. No parking with the $20. No parking but with the $20, but they get to say they were a member when. Right. We were this little museum and then, you know, be a part and be really kept up to breast on, uh, up abreast on what's coming. All right. And if people want to make a larger donation to the, the brand new museum, how do they do that? They should contact me or Debbie Dyer or Earl Brecklin. The three of us right now are sort of the development group um, of the board of directors. We have 13 board of directors, board members, and we've kind of split up into committees of okay. who's going to do what. And right now, the three of us are looking at, once the finance committee tells us how much money we have to raise, then we'll be charged with starting to figure that out. So certainly, it's an excellent point. If there is somebody that loves and embraces this so much they want to get in early, we would love to hear. There's it. probably naming rights. There's all sorts of opportunities. And if you donate enough, you probably get a, your own parking space in perpetuity. Or at least for a <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks. Perfect. Anything else? I think that's great. Thanks for coming and seeing what we're doing. All right. You're looking at the ground floor here of the future home of the Bar Harbor Historical Society Museum, all sorts of things. If you have ideas of what you think, you can give Kim a call too as well. Just go to the Swan Agency. Thanks for watching. Check out all the other videos we have on the WDEA YouTube channel.